Hi guys and welcome to another fly fishing video. What you see behind me is the River Test. I'm on the Broadlands Estate and I'm here to practice for the Grayling Classic. So, without further ado, let's get into it. This is actually my second day of practice. I came on Monday and despite the rain pouring down, the river was still quite clear and we got some bumper sport, Ian and I. But uh, last night there was an absolute deluge. John Hall tells me it came down about midnight and didn't stop. So all the feeder streams are pushing dirty water into the river and it's coloured up. It's up about a foot from Monday and the fishing is going to be extremely difficult. Now, if I can offer a couple of words of advice, wear sunscreen. No, no, I'm only joking. Do wear sunscreen because it's important, but the word of advice I was going to offer was make sure you bring a dry bag along and a dry bag should contain clean underwear, dry, warm clothing, just in case you take a dip in the river. Despite the fact temperatures are around 15 to 17 degrees, once you're wet, you'll not be very long cooling down. And especially if you're going to go back in the river and fish. Always bring a dry bag with fresh clothes so you can change. This is why I get so excited about coming to the test. Have a look at this. Luckily, I set up with two different methods and both methods has managed to grind me out a couple of fish. But the going's tough. We're going to persevere. The rain's stopped now and I'm hoping that the river's going to drop back and the colour will fall away. It'll make a hell of a difference for the competition. So keep your fingers crossed and start dancing for the rain gods to pack it in. coming out when you know the river's going to be high and it's going to be coloured? Well, the point is simply that you may be faced with the exact same conditions on match day. And if uh, previous renditions of this competition is anything to go by, we're more than likely going to have high and dirty water. But uh, I'm assured by the weatherman, John Hall, that now that the rain's gone today, we're going to get another deluge tonight and that should leave it just nicely fining down for the Saturday and Sunday. He reckons record numbers this year. Well, fingers crossed. Even though conditions are difficult, you can give yourself the best chance of success by setting up a couple of different outfits. So what I've set up today is a 10 foot, three weight Hanak Superb, and that is my primary weapon, if you like. And I'm gonna be double nymphing with that, with some quite heavy metal as the river's up a couple of feet since Monday, so I'll be fishing deep holes 
at the edges now it's deep so it makes no difference the other method I've got rigged up is a bung setup now a bung differs for the duo it's a, a lot more buoyant the fly I've got on the top which means I can hang much more tungsten off the end of it and uh, that'll be for exploring other parts off the river that I can't reach because wading when it's this high uh, can be quite dangerous and I've done all my swimming on Monday I don't want to do any more today so I'm going to steer clear of the breaststroke uh, we've had a little bit of lunch we're going to wander downstream this afternoon and see if we can't pick up some more fish just to get the confidence going Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Well, that's practice done and dusted It's been thoroughly enjoyable despite the weather and despite the high water and colour today We've still managed to catch a few fish and that's uh, good enough for us So what we're going to do now is have a chin wag, me and Ian We'll come up with a tactic for the weekend and hopefully we'll be able to not embarrass ourselves. What I'm going to do next is stick some flies up that were successful for me while I fished the last couple of days and you might want to take a look at them. See part two of the video next Thursday. We don't need